Hello my darlings. Right, I've got everything in my hands. So you girls get a lip filler today and I'm actually leaving now. I'm going to quickly shove this down my throat. Um, shove this in my gosh, in my tummy. But I was going to get it done when I was on annual leave over Christmas just in case they really spilled up and I didn't like them. I didn't have to go to work. But someone I know is getting them done today so she was like, book yourself in today. So that's what I've done. I'm going to get the 0.5 mil, half a mil. I know that you can't drink alcohol 24 hours beforehand. I haven't done that. Um, and if you're wondering what to wear to things like this, I'm just wearing jeans, my Chelsea boots, a jumper, and a blouse. So, you know, probably not why you clicked on the video, but these things are interesting to know. I'm just shoving breakfast bars in my mouth. What am I doing? I just got here. I made it on time. I think I'm 20 minutes early, which is absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, like traveling in rush hour, but I was traveling like London bound, so I guess I was opposite of like where all the main traffic was. But I'm very, very excited. I'm literally not nervous whatsoever. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is I've got my laser next week, and I only get my upper lip lasered. Um, actually, let me see if I can reschedule that now because you can't have lip filler and then I can't get laser for six weeks after I've had the filler done. So I feel so happy now. So I can get my lip filler done today because I've rescheduled my lip laser and then I've rebooked in my next lot of laser for the 29th of December. So I get a fresh one just before the new year, just after Christmas, a bit of a 9am. So excited. Anyways, this is not a laser video, it's a lip filler video. So I just want to talk about my lips more. So they're very uneven. Like this side's very straight and this side's very rounded. And then my bottom lip, I feel like it comes out really far. I mean, to be fair, it's only very, very minimal. But yeah, mainly the shape I want to fix and obviously just make this come out a tight, like a smidge more. Do you know what I mean? It's not like massive difference, but um, just make them like a little bit like bigger, fuller. These are my lips after just half a mil. Because when I had the consultation with her, she was like, you're going to need more than half a mil to achieve the results you want. So I trusted her. And this is literally just after she finished doing them and finishing them. Um, and I was happy. But you can see how stiff my mouth looks here. Like. So I just went shopping and dropped stuff off to my car. But I'm about to meet my friend to get her reaction. Um, and I'm really excited. We were both talking on the phone and like we can put these of us can like barely talk because we can't hardly move our lips. Are you ready? Yours look normal. Okay. I think yours do. I think mine are massive. Oh, I don't think so. Your side profile is so good. It makes my nose look not as big now. I've got a little bit of bruising there. Oh my god, they're <laughs> <laughs> so big. They're going to get bigger. She said that they're going to get bigger tomorrow. It's the top bit. Well, she oh. said that's all the swelling from the needle. Did she give you an um, arnica? Yeah. Oh, it hurts. No, I feel like it's definitely my top lip. Like, it hurts like right here for me. Like when I'm yes. eating. My lip has just started like fizzing. Like <coughs> bubbling. So this was a photo I took when I was at Wrangle shops when my friend had her appointment. And I really liked how they looked here. And I'm so glad I took this photo because this kept me going through the whole swelling period. Because I was like, this is how they're meant to look. Um, see, so remember this photo when you see the next clips, okay? Um, they hurt. Like, they hurt. Oh, you can see all the little injection marks. And my bruising. And the lumps. I mean, they look fucking good. I mean, they're really, really big, but they look really good. <laughs> what is that? Oh, shit, can you see that? It's a massive dip there. I need to massage them. I just try to wash my face. <laughs> I just, like, I don't want to get them wet. I just did, like, that. And I tried to do in here, but, like, you can't even get your finger in there. Um, they just hurt. They're, like, hard. Like all the edges are hard. Can't take any ibuprofen or what's the other one? I can take paracetamol. There's what's the other one that like Americans say? Ouch! 
ouch, 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 ouch. Do avoid kissing or massaging your lips directly after the procedure and possibly up to 24 hours if it's your first filler injection. Oh gosh, okay, well, they've got Arnica on them. So I'm not going to touch my face for the rest of the evening. Such an idiot. Why? I'm such an idiot. I don't feel very happy. I had a bit of like a mini breakdown. Not like a mini breakdown. Just like I got really like insecure last night. Basically, they're swelling up. Like they're really swelling up. Like I didn't even brush my teeth last night. I know I'm a skank because I was. I just don't want to get anything in there. Like brushing them today was like a bit of a, a bit hard. Let's put some more arnica on. Like I know the end result's gonna be good. I just don't want to have lumpy lips. Well, I was like, do I film it or do I just wait until it gets better? And I'm like, well, if it doesn't get better, the whole video will be about it being a fail. So I need to get some footage of it, you know, just how it is. They don't like hurt her. They just like hurt. <laughs> There's that. And then the girl I went to get it done with, like I'm saying all these things about mine, how much they've swollen, how lumpy they are. She's kind of wet today. She's like, no, it's mine fine. I'm like, oh. Oh, you know what? Am I just going crazy? I just sent a, a video and photos to my colleague, and they don't look that bad. And I remember the girl, who, the lady who does my nails, like a family friend. She had hers done. She was telling me all about it, and she said they feel like balloons. And I remember waking up and I was like, I feel like they're like, they feel heavy and massive. Driving home yesterday, and I was like, it feels exactly how I thought it would feel. Like you know when you like prop up out your lips. And, like, you just imagine what it would be like to have massive lips. Like, or, like, you do an impression of someone who's had filler, and you do that face. Like, that's what it feels like. But they're hard. They're not, like, nice and soft. i kiss someone, and they're going to be like, what the fuck is that? The ice. The ice feels really soothing and nice, so I definitely recommend that if you are. They're just, like, achy. Like, really fucking achy. So my mum has just pulled up um, and I'm nervous, I'm going to record her reaction. Um, I sent it to my best friend as well and she was like, they look cute, they actually look really good, like just the way they are and I was like, really? Um, so I'm feeling a lot better about them, I think they just feel massive. I don't like it at the minute, okay. but hopefully it's the swelling. Does it hurt really bad? It does hurt. Mm. Not as bad as it was. Do you it I thought you said to me you weren't going to have it so it looked like that. She went, I won't be able to even them out of half a mil. So I've got 0.9 of a mil. Morning, loves. Morning, why did I say morning? It's literally like 3 o'clock. So this is like 40, almost yeah, almost 48 hours after. Um, let me get you a bit closer. Um, I think they've gone down quite a lot. The bruising isn't as obvious now. I've been putting a lot of arnica on. I've been massaging them like... um. One of my colleagues told me to massage them like this and like that. Um, I've only really got a bump here. And I come across this video and I thought it was very fitting to show you. But I remember editing this and just literally not even wanting to post a video because I thought I looked horrific. And this was like when I decided I'm definitely gonna get filler. And then I'll look at this video and like I'm like, oh yeah, that's when I had lip filler, and I'm like no, that's, that's not when I had lip filler, that's before lip filler. And especially like here, like I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely after lip filler. But no, that's just like the top bit, do you know what I mean by the top bit where it's like the, the white bit? Like it just looks like I've had filler there and I, I really haven't. So sometimes I look absolutely fine and I feel like it's just like a, a, just a, the change that is why I'm a bit ugh. But other times I'm like, just they look so fake. Um, the bruising's gone down quite a lot. I've just got bruising like here. Just fine. I feel I don't hurt too much. I do want to do that. Um, but one of my colleagues was saying do like a, a full face of makeup, and that's when you'll start to love them. So this is a part of the video where I just explain things a bit more how the whole procedure went. Um, I feel like we're always in my bathroom now for um, 
videos but that's because it's dark everywhere else and if I haven't said it before I hate my studio lights so first off I used to use this lip plumper which was the one that's going viral on TikTok um this doesn't really do much it makes your lips really really red I don't my, I didn't, didn't notice a difference like plumping wise for mine yeah don't buy this basically <laughs> so basically what happened was I got in there they took some like before photos I sat down and had my consultation she asked me if I'd looked at any photos beforehand and I was I hadn't because I thought that was kind of like an amateur thing to do. She was basically explaining the fact that obviously everything's around your teeth and your jaw. So my lips are very uneven, especially at the top. And I know that my jaw's uneven, obviously just from looking at it I can tell, but I can feel it in my mouth. So I'll always kind of sit there like, like this to kind of like realign my jaw. Um, and it's like by a tiny bit, like like half a tooth or something. Um, my bottom lip was always like more pronounced than my top lip. My top lip is more like inwards. And um, so I said like, if you can like make them like even like my top lip come out a bit more she's like yeah we can do that um but i was mainly looking for like definition especially changing the shape of like the the, the top and she looked at me and she went to see what you want doing like even an out making them a little bit bigger generally and pushing the top lip up, out you're gonna need more than half a mil and i was kind of like what what and then she showed me the prices um for like they have two different formulas there um, they're the same brand, but just one is more expensive than the other. And she said that because you can get lip, um, you get lumps when injecting. You have to massage the lumps out. Um, and this, the more expensive brand, she said that there was something in it. I really forgot the name of the word. I should have remembered it. Basically, a bond of the natural collagen in your lip, so that gets very, it's much less lumpy, and it just feels more like your lip. Um, and I was like, yeah, that I want to, you know. I want to get the best of the best and I think it was like a hundred pound difference so it was quite a lot and she said that the more expensive brand lasts from 12 to 18 months whereas the cheaper brand didn't last as long so I was like okay that's obviously a no-brainer as well um obviously I don't know if you know this but filler kind of um dissolves over time or you can get it chemically dissolved um she did give me a disclaimer she said if I inject a vein or anything like that she'll stop what she's doing she'll dissolve all the lip filler she's done um, and then give me any kind of medical help that I need um, but that didn't happen so that's good so she said let's start off with half a mil I'll spread it all around I'll show you and then we can kind of updo it to, to up to a mil if you want and so I ended up having 0 0.9 of a mil so I basically had a mil um, which is almost double what I was expecting um, so they are very big and they were very big so she was letting me look in the, she, or she was telling me to look in the mirror like as she was going um, the first time I looked in the mirror, I was like, no fucking way. Because my cupid's bow just looked awful. And that's when I just kind of went, like, I probably wouldn't have got this much injected. Hadn't the first time I looked in the mirror been so awful that I just kind of laid there like, it can't get worse than this. Just do what you want. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. But basically, I was just kind of like letting her do whatever she thinks is best. Um... And then by the end result, she told me to look in the mirror and I was like, they look incredible. Like they they were, they looked like my lips, slightly bigger and evened out. I was so, so happy. But I just felt like really, really good about myself. And then I went out for a meal after, so I spent the whole meal being like, I did that. Like I did that for myself and now I have lips. I've never had lips and it's so strange. Do I wish I hadn't got them done? Slightly. Um, there was like a checklist of everything I wanted to get done. So obviously I started with like what's most affordable, which was... Um, aging so like my botox great laser i'm not even going to put in this because i think that's just something completely different lips obviously something that i've always just wanted and now i'm like jasmine don't don't do any of that like i feel like i've already changed so much just getting my lips done like i feel like i would have an actual identity crisis if i did more but yeah i feel like it's definitely kind of helped me put a cap on the changes i want to make to myself and because I feel like I do look really, really different. And, oh, numb cream. She put numb cream on five minutes before, um, or ten minutes, five to ten minutes before. And she was like, let me know when you start to get numb. And I literally felt like my lips had just swollen. I kept looking in the mirror. She was like, they feel like I've injected you already, doesn't it? I'm like, yeah. But no, my lips were exactly the same. It was just the, the numbing cream. So I think I love them now. <laughs> it's literally two days. I go from the last clip where I was like unsure what possibly wanted to get them dissolved um, and now it's almost been a week since I've had them done um, so it'll be a week tomorrow I feel like they've pretty much healed I mean the bruising has 
gone down tremendously. I've been applying Arnica non-stop. So the first day I went to work, which was like the first day I saw people with my lips. So like I went to my manager's office straight away and was like, what's different? She was like, I have no idea. Like what is different? I told her and she was like, oh my gosh. And even like this really like judgy lady in my office. Um, and she was like, she didn't even notice there was a difference. She said that they looked really natural and she's like against all of this stuff. So I was like, okay, that's, that's a good sign. Um, I mean, I know they look fake. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know they do. But then do they? I'm not 100% sure they do look fake. I, see, I just love them. I think she did an absolute superb job um, because they still look kind of natural at least, but they have like kind of transformed my face. Another guy at work who's very like typical man, has no idea about girl stuff, just kept complimenting me all day, like all day long. In terms of like kissing and stuff, so like I can't feel anything different. I guess you're kind of more like, you're, you're more to latch on with. Um, but yeah, apparently when he kissed me, he said that it felt like there was like more there. Um, but he, he didn't outright notice. I had to be like, what's different with my face? And then he noticed. So um, yeah, they did, like kissing was fine. If you're like, smoochy smooching then they really started to hurt um so i need a little bit of a break then just an fyi but again they are still hurting not even hurting just aching yeah pain wise it really didn't hurt obviously it was expensive i mean it hurt a little bit my friend that i went with said that she had to ask for breaks i don't think i have a high pain tolerance maybe i do i mean i had my rook done and the lady said that that was the most painful one she said i was a tough cookie because it didn't hurt when i had it on um but if they put numbing cream on, if they don't put numbing cream on, ask them to make sure they're really numb before they start injecting. Obviously they were like so swollen and they hurt after, but the actual needle bit is fine. So, oh yeah, the lumps, lumps are pretty much all gone. I haven't massaged them in a while. Happy, happy with it all. So I will love you and leave you with that, my darling. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, and yeah, I'll link their link down below as well.